Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Hanging out with a good friend of mine, Brett Papa, also the under the moniker Papa Stash. <laughs> uh, he's been doing videos with me almost from the beginning of Guitar Jams. Um, okay, so it's based out of uh, A minor, and it's really basic. So you're gonna go, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do really heavy palm muting. So you're gonna start on the A string, down to the D, and then you're gonna come up on the B to the G. Okay, so we got. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down and you're gonna do an open E, and then you're gonna flatten out your finger. And then go up to the B and the G. So we got. Now what you're gonna do is make a G chord with your hand. I use my pinky. So all you're doing is you're barring the third fret of the B and the G. And then we're gonna come up with our third finger to the G on the low E string. And then flatten it out to the C. And do a hammer on. Now you can do an artificial harmonic there. He does it sometimes and then sometimes it's just open. Right? So the riff again is. And stress the heavy muting. It's none of the notes ring out in the track. It just sounds big because there's delay in there. So it sounds like the notes are, you know, ringing through, but it's just because of the, an illusion. Right, so that's the beginning. And then what you're gonna do is just go to an A minor chord. So it sounds like he's hitting, right? But it's really a repeat. Now you're gonna go to open E and do the same hammer on that you did before. Now those of you that have a bar, this little riff starts and it's out of A minor pentatonic. And what we're gonna do is, so you hit the note, depress, and then slide. So you're gonna do the exact same thing up the neck. You're gonna go from five, seven, nine to 12. Now one thing you can do as, as the bar depresses, the strings will slack. So when they come back up to pitch, sometimes they'll you know, make string noise. So what you can do is you can set your palm down here and cover the strings above. So it doesn't make that string noise. Just a little trick. And then anyways, and then it does the same thing over and over again. And then there's one last riff and it's just bending up on the seventh fret of the G goes back into the song. <laughs> 